Welcome to QAvalidation.com. So in our protracted series, um, in this video, we will see how we can handle the non-angular sides. Okay. So, so far in the protractor, we have used all the angular sides. So, which is built on the angular JS. But what if, so let's say, uh, I mean, a, a scenario, let's say that um, you have one application that you have been working so long with the angular side. Okay. Now, suddenly with the same framework, it has been told to you to automate for the non-angular side. So, let's say there is uh, some old website is there and you have to perform a uh, kind of not fully but uh, to some extent you have to automate it now that time we will see how the protractor is reacting so what i will do here i'll create a new file and let's say i will tell non angular test okay dot ts okay and here what i will do i'll copy this content Okay, now here this site will be different because this site what we were seeing is a angular site. Okay, now we'll try with a non-angular site. Okay, now what I will do, so there is a site. Now if you go to this site, it's a non-angular website. Okay, so here now if I copy this one and let's say I will paste it here okay and now i'm i'm not writing anything else i'm just waiting for three seconds and then closing that so what i will do angular test fine okay now here what i will do and uh, i have my selenium is up and running so here what i will do i will run this test okay now let's see what happens <coughs> it opened this website okay no problem it will wait for three seconds and then it will close okay yeah so no problem was there i mean the website opened it waited for three seconds everything is done but if you see here you will get a failed the test got failed now why it is because if you see here could not find angular on base the particular page okay retry is looking for angular exceeded now what is this line this line uh, tells everything about the problem what it says that uh, because every time whenever you say browser dot get what exactly this protractor does it will wait for certain time for the angular controls okay now what happens so if it finds that angular controls then it will go ahead but if it is not finding those angular controls it has to wait still that much time and then it will say angular timeout which it says retries retries looking for angular exited now to, so even though your test got passed, I mean, whatever you want to do, it, it performed, but it is throwing you that error. Now, to avoid that, Protractor given a method that is ignore synchronization. So if you see this one, so if you go for this one, now browser dot ignore synchronization. Now, this is basically not a what you call it. it's a keyword after browser it's a ignore synchronization and it should accept a boolean value so let's uh, quickly read this one if true so let's say that if i make it as a true then protractor will not attempt to synchronize with the page that means that it will not wait this much for the to look for that angular controls so if i say here true okay fine now let's run the same code npm test and let me just wait for one minute only one second okay so now let's run this so it should invoke the browser okay so it invoked the browser it will wait for one second and then close it done now here you can see chrome one passed it means that it is the test is passed now the thing is that so what it says if you don't have any angular site that you're currently testing then you have to give this one browser dot ignore synchronization equal to true 
okay so there is another way that we can put a global method and then we can call each time to run whether uh, on a angular site or a non-angular site so what i will do i'll first comment it so and then what I will do I'll go to the conf.ts file and here we can do what we can do we can create something called as a global method actually so that that global method we can use anywhere in our test okay so what I will do here global is <coughs> any and then here dot give a method name so let's say is angular site okay and here let's uh, accept a flag actually okay so here what i can do else i can do like this function and then accept a flag and this should be a boolean okay so this should be a boolean and under this what i will do i'll mention that browser dot ignore synchronization and here so let's say if it is an angular site then ignore synchronization should be false it means that if somebody says is angular site is true it means that we have to make it as false so like this i'll tell you what it is now what happens and go to your test and if we have already commented this one right so here what we can do we can call that global is any and here dot is angular site is angular site and here what we can do yes our ours is is not an angular site right so we can say false so it means that if i send it as false this means that this will become true browser dot ignore synchronization is true see that is what it is happening here so what i can do i can go here and run this one let's see what happens so that what happens every time you need not to mention that you can just call that only so here it opens the site and then it will wait for one second and then it will close fine see here everything is done so what happens every time you want to run any website you can just call this method and you can pass the parameter so that you need not to remember that browser dot ignore synchronization or something fine so this is a way you can set it and now i have mentioned it in a it block what you can do you can create a before each method and in that you can call this one so that each time your uh, what you call it block will execute you need not to mention in every each blo it block you can just mention a before each and in that you can call this one so that's all so this is a one of the quick video about how you can execute the protractor scripts in a non-angular site